Nothing's happening. <laughs> I've been a professional dancer for over a decade in LA and New York. I've cultivated a style all my own and taught classes the world over, all while racking up hundreds of thousands of followers on social media. People always ask me if it's too late to fulfill their dreams of being a dancer. So I decided it was time to get back to the top of my game by training in styles outside of my comfort zone. I'm gonna give you a backstage pass so you can get a look at the real challenges and triumphs of training like a pro. Okay, back to the top. And you can see for yourself that it's never too late to follow your heart. I'm Dana Alexa, and this is Back to the Top. Hey guys, welcome back. It's episode two and I'm back at Center Stage Dance Academy and today I'm training with Vinnie Balbo. So Vinnie's style is the complete opposite of mine and it's definitely the complete opposite of Lark's heels combo from last week. I love the way he moves. Literally just controlled, clean stops, amazing. He literally is fluid like water when he waves. It's almost like alien if you so I love that his style is very different and I know it's going to challenge my body to move in ways that I'm not trained to move. So fingers crossed for me this week, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. And like, sit here. Wait a minute. I just wasn't. So every week with these choreographers, I give them a song and a concept that I want to portray, and then it's really their job to kind of take it and run with it and create the choreography. This week, I wanted the concept to be kind of post-apocalyptic. So the song is called Get You the Moon by Kina. Basically, me and Vinny are the last two people left on Earth. So in this one, this episode, Vinny's dancing with me, which is different from any other episode, but he's dancing with me because he has an amazing eye and choreographic skill for intricate partner work, which is something I don't have a lot of experience with. So I want I wanted to kind of incorporate that into the storyline and into my challenge this week. You're definitely gonna be able to see this week whether or not I nail his style because he could be standing right next to me. So I have no way to like fake it or flub it at all. I really have to try to match him as best as I can. Try to learn how to hit, pop, stop, drop in four days. Is that your leg? <laughs> <laughs> In my, in that oh. <laughs> Eyes up here, okay? <laughs> How's it going guys? My name is Vinny Balbo. I'm a professional dancer. My style is a very strange mixture of a lot of isolation, a lot of popping, tutting, dime stops, robotics. I'm very familiar with Dana's style and I think it might be a bit of a challenge because some of the techniques and movements that I'm going to be putting into the choreography take years and years to perfect, especially like dime stops and, and popping. It's just kind of muscle memory that you have to work on over the years. So it's really tricky to pick it up in just four days and four rehearsals. So I'm really stoked to see how she's going to do. Just in a big... It's a little... <laughs> what? Nothing's happening. <laughs> like I'm just contracting, but nothing's happening with my arm. One of the other difficulties that we have with this piece is that because I wanted one of the challenges to be intricate partner work, then he has to make up all of the choreography on the spot with me so that he can see the shapes and the pictures and figure out how our bodies need to move together. Um, so he's having to create this choreography on me while we're here in the studio. So he's also not only training me in the techniques that I need to be able to do the piece, but also creating the piece on both of our bodies. So that's definitely an extra little difficulty. So it's super dope also to be a choreographer myself and see the way his mind works and the way he's moving. I feel like that's another thing that is just like kind of blowing my mind right now. <laughs> Through, so so this, we're gonna thread it through here. So keep thread this it through where. So <laughs> keep your hand on the knee, and this is this. Are you kidding me? This opening here. <laughs> yep, right there. Uh -huh. We're gonna put this My leg through. Through <laughs> and we're gonna pull. My leg's not going in there at all. <laughs> How are you doing that? So the way that I'm going to be using my style to help 
tell this story of this post-apocalyptic uh, tale of two people. I, I think the, the rigidness of my movement, of the choreography, uh, is really gonna come through with sort of the harshness and the surrealism of the location. And uh, we'll be shooting on a very desolate, abandoned area. So it's really gonna tie into the sort of ruggedness that the style is gonna have, while being very sharp and clean um, as a nice contrast to sort of all the destruction. It's going pretty well. Uh, Dana's keeping up a lot better than I thought she would. Um, these movements and choreography is like really, really quick and there's a lot going on in a really short period of time. Um, but she's really keeping up and she's she's killing it. There's just some clicks and stops that, again, are just really hard for really anybody to, to jump right into. Um, but she's doing a great job and she's she's uh, she's not giving up. At some point, the hands will work out for me. Yeah, there's a little bit of collision here and there. Just like, sit here. I feel super excited. Honestly, I feel like if I could have dreamed up something, this is already 10 times better than what I would have put to this song. And this is like one of my favorite songs right now. So I really am excited for the choreography, but there's definitely a lot more pressure with this piece in that there's actually moments where I'm like holding him and like his head is like in my hand. So if I'm not on and I like drop him, I cannot not be on. Like I need to really learn this choreography and need to be able to do it well because otherwise like I could actually hurt him or hurt myself. <laughs> so there's definitely added pressure there, but um, I really love it. I love the concept. I love where it's headed and I definitely need to go home and practice <laughs> now, I'm going now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's our last day of rehearsal before the shoot today. We are on day four of rehearsal. We had two rehearsals that you guys didn't see off camera where we worked a lot on the technique, the hand placement, cleaning up my timing, my ability to hear his musicality. So I definitely feel better today than I felt in our first rehearsal where everything was super foreign. Nothing's happening. <laughs> like I'm just contracting, but nothing. So now that I feel a little bit more confident with the choreography, I really want to focus on this rehearsal a lot on emotional delivery. Um, like I said, the concept of this is that we are the last two people on earth. And it's basically that our connection to each other and our like love for each other is what kept us alive and what allowed us to survive. Um, so that connection with him is gonna be very important to kind of tell this story. So I really wanna make sure that I'm not like too in my head thinking about every angle and line and that I can actually be in the moment with Vinny as well because that's a big part of the challenge of this week. Yeah, it's definitely a, a tall order, but I'm excited and let's hope the next two hours I really like pull it all the way up and I'm ready for shoot day tomorrow. Yeah, I don't remember having to go. That's when it gets screwed up. Yeah, that's when it gets screwed up. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. And your head. Oh, what? No. That's not right. Hold on. I need to like find how you still dance full out without pushing like aggression or energy like this way. It's like full energy here that translates somehow there, but isn't the way that I know how to dance full out. Because if I dance full out, it's not waving, it's not any of this stuff. It's just my own version of his choreography. So that's another cue. Oh, I'm not moving. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe doing this without the mirror a couple times just for even my sake. Yeah. Uh, just to know where. I'm so used to seeing where my hands go. Well, it's the last rehearsal today, and the two rehearsals we had for the past two days have been exhausting, but so much fun. Teaching Dana, who is a very highly skilled professional, is very different from a lot of the people that I've taught in the past and it comes with a whole new group of challenges. So Dana already has such a great movement vocabulary and such high strengths in other places, but maybe not as much technique in certain other places, such as freestyle, popping, tutting, or whatever it may be. So this is a very unique challenge that I'm having right now, teaching Dana all these 
specific moves and she listens to the music in a very different way that I do. So kind of merging those two ideas has been a bit of a challenge, but it's slowly, we're on the same page. I remember I just grabbed it. I know, I don't know how. So we wrapped our last rehearsal and I feel really good about it. Uh, we had a few struggles with all the intricacies, but we eventually worked through it all. And I think tomorrow is gonna go really smoothly, I really hope. Okay, so we just finished rehearsal two. I actually feel really good about the piece. I love the piece. Um, I feel like it is exactly what I hoped it would be and that it, it tells this story of like, us having to be connected in order to survive, basically. Um, not only with the way we're connecting with each other in our facial expressions, in our eyes, in our moments, but also that our bodies are literally connected for 80% of the piece. So I need him in order to be able to do the piece, right? And he needs me. Like there's points where I'm literally holding him. If I don't get there or if I drop him, like it's super problematic. So it's really just, so many levels to the piece. This is an outdoor shoot, which always adds an element of surprise and an element of, um, we don't know exactly what kind of terrain we're gonna be on. We don't know what kind of weather we're gonna have. So there's a lot of stuff that we will have to work around when we get there. You know, there's knee slides, there's floor moments. We might be in dirt, we might be in gravel. We really don't know. So I am a little bit concerned about that because the piece is looking really good right now. So I would hate for, us not to be able to adapt to the environment and for that to take away or detract it all from the dancing. So um, fingers crossed everything goes smoothly tomorrow. I'm so excited to perform this piece and I hope you guys love it. Two, but that's not gonna help. She's just gone. Okay, one. What? Forget it. One. I it one. Looks really dope. There's literally a fire right there. You can see the flames. So it's flames. very post-apocalyptic. It's working. It's hot. You can literally feel the fire. So that's, that's gonna be interesting. You know what my thoughts are? I'm happy that my shirt is baggy because I was able to eat anything I wanted today and that automatically puts me in a better mood. So I'm just living my best life. <laughs> that's how I feel. So somehow one of these contacts didn't actually get kept in contact solution. So this contact is like dry, Burning. crusty, and completely hardened. I do have eye drops, but however, nothing is working because they've been without without solution for like a day. Ugh. So I'm just gonna suffer. Let's see the eyes. What are we doing for? Oh my Ooh. god. Oh. If you guys know, if you're watching me, you know that we are up to like six pants ripped and counting, six shoots ruined and counting. So. I gotta hope that I don't bust out of another pair of jeans today. It's not my booty, it's my thighs. They don't like to be held in confinement. Oh, God. You show me love A rare good mood, a rare mood from Typo. Look at him being jolly. Oh God. Love it. Aww. Love him. So like, I don't even know what to expect. I mean, she's gonna do great. She's doing good, but I don't know. So I can't wait to see this video.
along with it. If it's not it. good, then it's a waste of energy. Yeah, just do it again. Did his head swivel? Is he doing that swivel? They are not really. No. Not really. I'm like here. No. 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 Do that more. We're really struggling. Honestly, it's not great. I don't know. It just, it feels different. It's probably because we're outside now. There's dirt flying. Like, there's dirt in my eyes. So we're we're struggling because in rehearsal, we had things like, by the end of last rehearsal, we had things very clean. So we're having some timing issues and definitely having just some issues we never had before where we're like falling out of things and I think balance is becoming a factor so we are going to go through it a few more times and hope we can get it at least as clean as we had it yesterday. <laughs> it's tough there's a lot of little rocks little pebbles we're kind of sliding around the surface is definitely not flat so when we spin around it's really easy to like not be centered when you come back and it's just a very tricky piece for sure. <laughs> Hey, it looks pretty good. I'm, girl, I did it. That's me. Shut up, typo. Give me a little credit. Look at this, look. Oh, you're That's bringing nasty. it back. <laughs> that, that was really good. clean. Nice. This is really good. You added an extra isolation. You're trying to make me look bad. <laughs> watch, just it, some... watch it, watch it, watch it. No, you didn't. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I got to charge you extra for this shit. <laughs> yeah, get that clip. That one, that one. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a, a bonus really clip. Take that's a bonus bro. clip. Feeling wise. So, is that everything? Yeah, I think I'm good. Do we get everything? <laughs> that's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> you guys did a good job. Thanks. Thanks, Typo. Wow, we must have really nailed it. In all the years, I think Typo told me I've done a good job three times. So we just wrapped the shoot. Um, this one was definitely challenging more so because of the, I think, the floor. We were not prepared for the extra element of like our balance was off. So on top of all this intricate partner work, we were unstable. So that definitely made this a bit trickier. But I think we got it. I think that we got the shot. Oh, yeah. We're filthy. So we definitely were fully committed rolling around in the dirt. And um, I really, I love the piece. I've loved this song for such a long time. And I couldn't think of anyone that could really do it better than him. So thank you so much for the amazing choreography Thank you. and it was such an amazing experience i appreciate you uh, this was super fun a lot of the foreseen challenges came to fruition and it was really tricky the terrain all that the heat the fire the smoke in our lungs right now uh, all of it was just working against us but we powered through and we finished up a lot sooner than i think we thought we would <laughs> And we, uh, One we, of the fastest we killed it. Probably have ever done. Actually. Yeah, we were I think super. We shot this in like an hour. I'm happy to say that Dana <laughs> stood up to the challenge, and she followed through, and she killed it. And with all of these crazy things working against us, she was able to uh, kill the choreo, do all the techniques that I was putting on her, all the stops, all the isolations. Everything was really awesome. Watching playback, I was very impressed. It was even like a huge step up from just the rehearsal footage that we were getting. Um, so, I mean, I guess just that performance energy kicked it up a notch <laughs> for you and all the technique really got all this extra energy. So I'm really happy. Like this is, this is super cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>